Hi YouTubers, welcome back to uh, the second part of the tutorial overview of the KPAFX editor made by David Greda. In this part I would like to show you uh, a few tricks, uh, what the software can do and how you work uh, with the software in conjunction with the Kemper uh, Rig Manager. First things first, in the first part I have explained um, how you can download the software and how you uh, set the software up and how you connect your Kemper profiler to your computer via MIDI. So if you haven't seen that video, just uh, I will put a link in the description below so you can uh, take care of that. Uh, and then you just follow along. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, uh, feel free to uh, ask uh, them if you want. All right. So uh, if you have followed the first video, you will have uh, the software on your desktop by now. So just press the double click on the software and it will just start. And then I will go to the software one by one. Okay, now uh, what I'll do now is uh, also start up the rig manager. Uh, if you have the rig manager, of course you have it, it's uh, here. There you go, it's the new rig manager and I will fire it up as well. Of course, in order to use your camper with your uh, rig manager, you need to connect your rig manager, well, your computer with a, with a USB. So in order to work them side by side, I will just drag and drop this screen here and select the rig manager there and just make it like that. So this is the screen. Um, as you can see, the FX editor, normally you are, I guess, quite familiar with the rig manager, so uh, let's go to the rig packs and just uh, choose the chop tones ones. I really like those. Uh, uh, I have a few packs uh, bought. Uh, if you didn't already, this is, I'm not sponsored to anything. I do know, not know the guy, but uh, they're really good, the chop tones, uh, very good indeed. All right, um, as you can see, on the left-hand side, you have the KPF exit, FX editor. Uh, there are four large, portions on the screen are directly visible. It's the amp section, the effects section, the tempo section and the reverb section. Normally if you have seen the previous video you would you will have set up the MIDI channel and the MIDI device so now you will be able if you press connect as you can see you get automatically the correct amp uh, slot A all the effects in the, in the right slots, the EQ settings, the cap settings, and the reverse settings. So if I choose another one, for instance this one, you will see that automatically it changes here and it changes also on the camper. So, of course, if you play that one, sounding great already. Okay, let me record that. So, uh, if you change here, it will give you... Now, uh, I can dial out some presence. Dial out some treble, and here, this is a nice thing about the KPA Mixer. You can just access all parameters right from the bat.
Of course, you can choose whichever type you like. Uh, engage. Too much. Of course, too much. Let's dial some of that out. to uh, add effects you just select the effect slot that you want in this case effect slot 1 already has the noise gate but here in effects type you can choose anything you like let's get rid of that hard gate or just no let me put up the threshold so very nice indeed okay so in slot B uh, well as you can see on the screen uh, the live screen, uh, there's nothing in slot B, C or D, there's nothing in X, nothing in uh, just the reverb that has been active. So, uh, no worries here, you just take slot B and uh, for instance we can drag a chorus here, for instance, uh, why not? Just because we can. So here you have all the effects that are in the Kemper profiling unit, so let's have a vintage chorus, shall we? Just engage. Nice, off. Okay, the nice thing about the KPA FX editor is you just put it in effects mode off. Okay, let's get rid of some of that. Still too much. Very nice, but. single delay or dual delay there you go and here the tempo uh, block uh, is very interesting indeed so you just enable the tempo just click it once or twice and then you will see the tap tempo will start blinking and here you can specify which tap tempo you want for instance or you can just use the dial here okay like that that's nice and now engage the delay and <laughs> Very nice. For instance, okay. Now, uh, it's also easy enough. Now you can press store if you want. But it's easy enough to, to, to go to your own profiler here. For instance, my mic. Four or five lead. Say okay. Very nice. Can tweak markly 2 
you can rename by double clicking here just adding uh, and so on it's all automatically reflected also in the profile window so Just to make sure, if you want to store it, you just press the store button and replace. That's the only time you need to actually touch the profiler. Uh, it's when you want to store uh, a tweaked rig or a rig that you have in the in the rig packs here. Uh, let's let's take uh, another one. Now that I like. <laughs> So, yeah, switch to A. Where's my gate? There I go. Yeah, nice. Okay, well, um, as you can see, very nice. Now, if you want to rename that, it's brown, it's stored temporary in the preview. You press the save button. And off you go. It's easy peasy. So uh, let's take another one from Top Jimmy here, Jet City, maybe a Marshall JM100, a lot of game. <laughs> Slot one or the one oh, DS. I like the one DS. One DS, please. You got to click there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, this concludes uh, the KPA FX, FX editor. Uh, so, I hope uh, you uh, picked up uh, some useful tips along the line and uh, that we will be using this KPA FX editor as well. So, um, I just saw that there's an update for the Kemper, a beta one, but I'll be waiting to upgrade because you never know, uh, maybe they've just screwed all uh, MIDI uh, related things up uh, so that the program won't work anymore because for now the Kemper is just perfect for me uh, in combination with the FX editor and the rig manager um, it's all I need so I really hope there will be an editor from Kemper but if Kemper just would add uh, some kind of CAD manager to the to the profiler uh, to, the, to the to the rig manager that would be great because um, that's not controllable by uh, MIDI. Um, one last thing, one more thing. Uh, no, not about the new iPad. Um, the, there's an update uh, on the horizon for uh, the editor. Uh, sooner, later, I don't know. Uh, Damien will add uh, a morph button. So you can uh, also control your morph states, which is great. Now. Uh, by using your foot controller now morph state is also very uh, very easily set up but it would be nice uh, if there's a morph state button here uh, and also uh, that you can you know uh, switch between morphs by using a button here on the interface so that you know what you are doing because uh, getting those morphs exactly right by uh, using the software editor will be much easier because uh, you have everything at a glance uh, here uh, right uh, at your disposal in one screen which is a big 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 plus so um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions whatsoever feel free uh, to leave uh, comments below and uh, I will try to, to answer them as quickly as I can so, um, oh, in case you're wondering, this guitar here, just get out of this guitar is uh, an Ibanez Jam. It's uh, the 77 flower pattern one. It's uh, the reissue. Uh, I bought it in 2002. Uh, I'm from Belgium, but uh, I bought it in Amsterdam. Uh, cost me two grand. Um, but it's a very nice guitar. Uh, I swapped out the pink pickups. Uh, for uh, bare knuckle ones, so the, it's a, a war pick and a cold sweat here in the neck. Uh, this is the original one, uh, but with a black cover, and also changed the the volume pots, uh, not the volume pots itself, but the the, the Telecaster knobs. Uh, so it's all black hardware, which uh, complements this guitar very nicely. I, I, I like the pink. It's, it's that's why I bought the guitar, but. Since I play in a rock band, a uh, hard rock band, uh, pink is not uh, easily uh, related to uh, hard rock, now is it? And no, I, will, I don't wear pink. <laughs> uh, love Pink Floyd though. Um, okay, so if you have any questions, please uh, uh, leave it in the, uh, in the comments below and uh, I'm, I will sure uh, I will answer those. Okay, uh, this is... Uh, this is the end of the video, it's been way too long already, so I hope I catch you guys in the next one.